Hey y'all, this is Kite, and I am changing classes. You remember what we talked about last time, th about the rhythm? Well, this is just one of those instances where I just had to make a change, because my rhythm was something of a discordant bitch. I couldn't split the proverbial bottle, because my body and soul were going east and west, north and south. So I went to this. The Eastern Block King. The Fist of the North. Lord of all things vodka and KGB. Comrade to Zangief, defending the eastern skies. The heavy weapons guy. Was somewhat of an extension of t the talk we had. This is just one of those games where I had to completely switch from going my normal crazy headshotting bastard style to a more come at me bro style, especially with the heavy. And I have to admit, I have been playing the heavy a lot more as time has gone on. He can just stay alive longer, and he can just do more DPS than the scout or sniper. Unless the sniper gets a headshot, of course. Which is which are the both the only classes that I've played longer than the heavy in game time. There are some negatives to the heavy though, and god damn do they piss me off. Most of the time it's just a case of how did he not die? Fuck Which is just an amplified in this game where you can stay, of much, stay alive much longer between medics and heal packs and all that sort of other bullshit. <laughs> it's crazy sometimes how much I can pump 50 to 100 bullets into some guy and they just all of a sudden kill me out of nowhere and I find out that they actually took no damage in that entire exchange. For all the heavy cuts loose with a whole lot of bullets and can take a whole lot of hits like a champ. Those bullets don't do terribly much by themselves. You have to hit a whole lot of them and they have to be critical. Or else they're not going to do much at all for you. And it's, God, it's annoying. But God, does it feel good to be the Terminator. You just eat bullets and sandwiches and you lay down withering fire. Especially when there are two heavies together. You feel like a pair of bona fide pimps. Now, this clip is something of a heavy at 75% power. There aren't many medics in this lobby, at least none of, on, of them on our team. So between me and Shenmue36, we have to lay down the law and defend the hill in the middle of the map while taking all the damage and not caring. That's why I have this sandwich in this game. Squiddish and everyone else are flowing around us with the Huntsmen and their scouts and the pyros and all that sort of thing. But we are the important part. We sit on the hill, and at least I would like to think we were a large part in the victory of the second game, and the prolongedness of the second, which we, spoiler alert, lose. However, something about this, and the topic of this gameplay, is the highlights of the defensiveness of the heavy class. Something I really love about them is the fact that they can just sit at a spot and camp it out, and just keep firing. Sure, in games like Payload, they can be really good offensively, where you just take a medic, and you put your face against that stupid bomb, and just fire away, taking all the hits from everything, and just laughing it off, because you have the bomb and the medics healing you, and if you really need something, you can stop and sandpit yourself. But, that's not usually what you use. You know, I've gotten good 60-point games doing exactly that, but that's not the important part. Especially in this gameplay, I would like to highlight the, you know, defensiveness of our team. We can just sit there and kill everything that comes our way. Um, especially in this game, I end up taking the exact same routes to the exact same positions to, ex to defend the hill against the enemy. Because... I can go back to the same spot and not have to worry about them knowing where I'm gonna be. They have to know, they have to worry about me knowing where they are so that I don't cut loose on them. Especially on this map, there aren't a, a whole bunch of places to hide in the hill. So if you want to even get close, you have to come up against me and another heavy just clearing the path with our 200 bullets a piece of minigun destruction. They take $400,000 to fire for 12 minutes. They have 12 seconds. They have to have a reason for that. And it's pretty obvious what the reason is. 
I actually got to be a bad idea a couple times of standing there, but that's a story for another time. You know, you'll see the answer, the reason for that later on. But even when the bad, the going was were bad, and the people were up in our face, we still stuck to our job. Even in the second match. Wow, that was a close match, you know what I mean? Well, you will at least. And I'd like to think that us being the heavies on the flag, on the uh, cap point, were the reason for it being so goddamn close. <laughs> there is no reason for a scout or a pyro or a soldier to come rushing at us, because it just doesn't work, especially with two. Between the both of us, we can get a sheer amount of DPS into your face that you won't be able to take it. And if you do, you will be knocked back far enough that it won't matter. You know what I mean? The pure winnedness of this makes me just love this class for everything it's worth. And when you need a backup rhythm, honestly, I don't mind the idea of coming back to the heavy class. It goes back to what I was saying the last time I was um, talking to you guys. <laughs> the reason for painkiller is that it gets you long enough to stay alive. Well, with the heavy, that's what I use it. It is The heavy is my painkiller, and I use it to great effect in this game. Instead of taking very few hits, but dealing a lot of damage in that short amount of time, I deal a lot of damage over a long time, which keeps our team winning. And that's what really matters. Instead of trying to force a flow that I can't absolutely do at all, especially in this lobby where they don't have a lot of slow-moving classes like the Heavies or the Pyros, they have a whole bunch of scouts and soldiers, which are a whole lot more maneuverable than I can hit as a sniper, it would be much more worth it for me to sit back in the back and just l cut loose on anything that open enters that circle, or tries to. There were a couple times where we were sitting on this capture point, and we were just not moving. We set up the eastern block. Our side was East Berlin, their side was West Berlin, and we just cut loose on anyone trying to get to our side. And funnily enough, for us, the results were kind of the same. Just as the wall was eventually torn down, our defenses were eventually torn down, but God, did we keep trying. We were a large part of our teams doing even and nearly as well as we did. And I think that's a fairly good indication of what this class does when you're flowing. Now, I wasn't thinking too hard during this game. I was actually freaking out because I was just going so well. I was actually really surprised when we ended up losing all of the sudden because I was just in the game so much that I didn't notice the timer so much. You know what I mean? Once it was over time, my brain clicked and I said, look, you are not getting this win, which they actually did, but that's not the point. Sometimes flow, the world's biggest amount of flow, even the world's most interesting man, can't get you out of a situation. And that's just how it's got to go. Anyway, keep the feedback coming on these videos. I really appreciate it, and I am very slowly getting better and better at these. At least I think so. And I hope to come back to you with, you, uh, with another gameplay in the next day or two. I really appreciate everything you guys are doing, even if it's all private and not on the video com comments. I will talk to you later, guys, and have a good night.
Say, you're just a pussy.